Hello. Today's community comment comes from a couple of people um, regarding dialogue boxes. I have to break this up into two videos, um, one on how to actually use it and then the other on how to design it. So today's we're going to go over um, how to use it. So using my Kung Fu Man, I'm going to his intro state and ignore this one. This is just me testing stuff. So. The way it works is like every other state control. Your type will equal dialogue. You need the trigger one, which um, I'm using enemy name to identify my enemy. And I use Kung Fu Man Z as my um, testing subject here. This name has to be matching to this name. Not the display name. The actual name of the character has to match. And then uh, another safety I put is a team mode equal single. This will uh, mean this only activates in a 1v1. If it's simultaneous tag, it will not activate. This way it won't interrupt other things. Um, if you go to the wiki, there are some other trigger control lists for this. Uh, hide bars will disable life bars. But anyways, um, so what I have here, it looks like a jumbled mess right now but basically um, the intro to Kung Fu Man here with his dialogue intro is instructions on how to do stuff for dialogue and I figured the best way to demonstrate it is to have Kung Fu Man explain it himself but before I get to that um, I believe you're allowed to use I think 99 texts um, to make this uh, work. I, I haven't gone that far, but I think so. And you cannot have them with the same number. You can't have 10 and 10 and 10. It will not work. It will not display simultaneously. And you uh, cannot skip a number. If you skip a number, it'll just end. So you start off by having P1 or P2. Whatever P you decide says which player is going to do that action. In my case here, I'm starting with player one. On player one side, he's going to say, pressing some buttons during dialogue will skip it. I will show you how to do this later. Now, that's the first text. Uh, by default, pressing uh, B, C, X, Y, Z will skip the dialogue. A is the only button it will accept to go to the next text and then the next text. So I'll show at the end of this uh, section here how to change that. But just so you know, by default, A is the only button that goes to the next dialog. <clears throat> so now, text number two. Player one's going to talk. I'm going to use P1 face equals self, meaning myself. And I'm going to use group 9000 index one. And this is his big portrait. And then I'm defining player two's face, which is player two's big portrait. You can change your or the uh, enemy's big portraits using these codes. And all codes for dialogue are in these angled brackets, or as most of us know them as less than, greater than. It has to be in between them. So I have uh, player one saying, using P1 allows me to talk on player one side. Then wait equals 60 means it'll wait for 60 ticks, one second. Uh, using P1 face equals self, 9001, allows the player's big portrait to be displayed when talking. The next line, player 2 is going to be talking. And using P2 allows me to talk, which is player 2. This, um, I think this is backslash, an N. This is a line break. It goes to the next line. And this will be helpful for a story mode tutorial down the line, like further down. But so, he'll say this on one line period and then it'll go to the next line using p2 face equals redirection allows you to change the other person's picture redirection i explained a little bit below on what that is but it's kind of weird looking at this slash n and then the sentence as it goes but you'll get used to it over time now i have p2 uh p2 is declaring the player once picture is the same you don't have to do this all the time but I, I copied and pasted, honestly. But player 2's picture changes here. And that player 2 name also changes. So it went from Kung Fu Man Z to Evil Kung Fu Man. If you want to change my name, P2 equals name. 
would allow you to change this talking person name. Talking, okay. Uh, you probably didn't notice my original name. The next line is using weight equals 30 in angle brackets. Using weight equals 30 allows you to pause for 30 ticks. Or frames, depending on how you want to look at it. I just recently learned ticks and frames are the same thing. Um, uh, or weight equals 90 to weight for 90 ticks. Using a smaller number can do this. I have weight equals 10. So it's basically dot, 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 dot. It'll appear like that, like a you know awkward pause kind of situation. And then I have uh, redirections as follows. So player two is going to say, oh, redirections are as followed. Player two is then going to say self, which is a redirection. Enemy X, enemy, I think it's enemy X. It might just be enemy actually. I think it's enemy there and then player number one two three four five six seven eight and then player one's gonna say partner x one two three four five six seven eight followed by enemy name which is your enemy and partner name uh this one i couldn't get to work for some reason it does not work at all where you can have the character play an animation i'm doing it exactly as the wikia says anim equals self meaning myself will play animation 100 so I'll have Kung Fu Man running in place using the redirections that I just explained and replacing the atom number. It doesn't work for me. I don't know why. It might not work at all for all I know. But, however, state number, well, state equals works very well, which I demonstrate by having uh, Kung Fu Man go into the triple Kung, no, the uh, Kung Fu upper super during the intro state. And yes, you could still hit them if they're close enough. Then I also have... Um, player one talking about using a map code since dialogue is strictly eichmann uh maps are pretty much basic eichmann and using a trigger all his team mode is also basic eichmann so uh, i i i took the helpers from the uh striker select tutorial and i changed their activation so now i have it so if uh map redirection map name map value allows you to activate a map from the dialog which I have here map self me dialog equals one it says go Kung Fu Girl so Kung Fu Girl is gonna come out running and kick and I had to disable her hit death because she can hit him in the intro and I, I don't know he doesn't lose life but it just changes the position <sighs> uh, excuse me um, and then he says, I activate my striker using a map. And that's pretty much it. This is the first half of the dialogue tutorial. And this is the first half. Now, aside from just the intro here, I did one on the win pose. So when you win pose, um, it's going to, if you win, it's going to show a dialogue box for player two saying, how, wait, how is that I have been so defeated? And then player one says, you have been doomed ever since you lost your ability to love. And then player two says, ha, ah, sarcasm. So that's if you win. So you cannot test dialogue in Fighter Factory. You have to test by actually loading up Eichmann Go. So now we're going to load this up. You know the verses. Kung Fu Man, Kung Fu Man Z. I've always liked this stage.
Okay, and now it continues as normal. Now I'm going to defeat him with F1, and then I'm going to defeat him again. And then it'll just close to the victory screen. Yeah, you completed this tutorial. I noticed I did like a typo back there, I think. Let me see. Using state, no. No, this is incorrect. There's nothing with state. No, uh, I copied and pasted it, that's why. Yeah, okay, good. That's what it means to say. Alright, so that's pretty much how you use a dialogue. You definitely need an enemy name, and having an, a team mode helps, you know, stop it from activating all the time. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I had Kung Fu Man smirk when he said, ah, sarcasm. Now, I'm going to show you um, where to change the uh, buttons. Open up the system def in your data folder. Control F and search dialogue. You will get to the dialogue definition, which is pretty much almost at the bottom, like 90% down. And you'll see this thing here. Skip key, cancel key. Uh, I like to put all of them for my skip key. Uh, X, Y, Z. And for my uh, cancel key, I'll use start. So this way, any button you press will skip dialogue, and then when you press start, it'll skip the the dialogue altogether. It'll skip everything. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna go for all this design stuff here in another video because that's gonna take a lot longer, and I'll need more uh, time to prepare that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you could download this Kung Fu Man in the description if you want to. You know, contribute to me. You can buy me a coffee. Um, like, comment, subscribe, anything helps. Keep the comments coming. I know I need to do part two of this for designing dialogue. I know someone requested storyboard tutorial a while ago. There's also the, uh, the, the, the fire effect punch, like Kiyokusanaga, and he punches you, you start, like, sparking. Uh, Spear from Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero Freeze. I was working on that one. Um... I think it's going to get a lot harder from now on. I'm kind of scared, honestly, because I, I still don't know a lot of things, and it's like kind of terrifying because some of these questions are kind of tricky. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and stay tuned. More to come.